Hey, how's everybody doing? You having a good time or a bad time? I think you woke up about dirt if you're hearing this, so it's a good time. Anytime that you wake up, as I did, at 9 o'clock in the morning, and uh, just started doing my thing, which a lot of people can't comprehend, and it's music. And uh, that's all there is to it. And so I go into uh, a couple places and look up my partner. And, you know, he shared some clips of mine. And I uh, really liked Dwayne Allman a lot. He had a lot of class. You remember Wilson Pickett? Remember the song, Hey Jude? What's that mean? The minute you land her under your skin, then you can feel better. Da, da, da. That reminds me of them shooting heroin to myself. But everybody loves this song. I don't think they're definitely catching the meaning of it. But I've listened to it over and over and over and over. Every make, every remake, excuse me, and everything else. And that's what I can come up with uh, is that analogy of it because God will see don't just listen to the instruments. Listen to the singer. And this is Wilson Pickett singing. Okay? And that's another one we lost a long time ago. Okay? Really, we did. And, and you people really are not realizing that music goes back a long way. Hey, Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it bad. Thank you. 
epidemic in the world right now is heroin. And the government's the one that uh, they want heroin to die. And there's thousands of people dying of it. Because some of it's brown and some of it's, some of it's China white. So, you know, if you're a junkie on it, a shot just makes you well, so you're not sick no more. I tried to help this dude get off heroin. I really did. You know, I, I let go of something to help him with the withdrawal, and I even offered to babysit him for it. You know, because it's a, it's a weak deal, and, and he dropped his clothes off. He was going to come over. And do that, and he never did. And it's just out there somewhere. I still got his clothes in my basement in the bag. Bottom line, blood trip. So I don't know what he's doing. Um, he went by and waved in the window about three weeks ago, sassy, and just <laughs> sassy paid no attention. She's, she, we're done with it. You know, you can only help a person that wants to be helped. Alright, that's all there is to it. You guys want to bitch about somebody drinking a cold beer. Well, get it, you 100. Stick it in your arm with too much fucking heroin in it and watch it die. Yeah, and that's what that song actually reminds me of. To feel better. Yeah, Dwayne, he was an addict, so it was, that's what killed Wilson Pickett. When Wilson Pickett grew up, he literally had these cases with a glass syringe that you cleaned out. Plastic you cannot clean out because the plastic absorbs some of it. You got it. They, it was legal. That's the point back then. Now Wilson Pickett, it was legal just like the bird, the saxophone player, even, you know, B.B. King in the day, Eric Clapton in the day. You know, and you had fresh new needles you could twist on the end, you know, so you wouldn't have a doll needle. It's terrible, man, you know. If you don't let people kill themselves, government, at least supply them with a good rig and a case to put it in, you know, even though if they get caught with it, you're going to jail, but you're the one doing it. The Congress and the Senate are taking the payoffs for it. All right? Don't you understand that? Oh God, the Treasury. Do you just you know who's sitting in that spot? Well, why don't you start opening your eyes about the government? The government's been fucking you for a long time. All right, say fuck the NSA. Fuck. The CIA, fuck the FBI, fuck the Congress and the Senate. 
the lying bastards. I have paperwork proof. Oh, yeah. Dr. Robert Goldwyn gave it to me. And it's in this little notebook back, back there. I just found it the other day. And I'll read it to you. All 550 of them bastards. And then you got that puppet that sits in office that's supposed to be the president. Not. Nah. He signs a bill, baby. to it. Vice President, they don't know how to talk to the Congress. See, you got to talk to both parties. You know, the Congress and the Senate. You got a Democratic and a Republican side of it. Stick talking. Away. Because you're not paying attention. And I've tried every which way but loose to do this to you. You know, everyone thinks cults is big drunk and shit, and that's all he does. You don't know me, okay? Until you really know me, come to my house and visit. Then you may get a chance to really know me. I ain't that. There's a time and a place for everything. Okay. Just as there's a time for rest and a time for work. Ten hours a day, what do I do? I don't get a hold of nobody, I don't mess with nobody, I got messages out the butt. Okay. I study music. And that's my mission. I believe in some manner, way, shape, or form to help somebody because when I do a show on Long Live TV even knowing what's come in because they're trying to get me blackballed and there's quite a few of them and uh, I just want to read that but see I can see the viewers they just don't come in and uh, so if I can touch one soul a day with a song and something I say, because I've seen all good people turn their heads each day. Fuck it. So satisfied that I'm still on my way. Peace. We need it. I've given you the stats. I've done everything.